Hello and welcome to another Simple Rockets 2 video. As you can tell, I'm doing this thing a little bit differently because it was just a little too long to fit in the time cap or whatever. So I needed to do it this way, just skip the uh, loading screen and just uh, go straight into it. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Let's see, uh, that was the gyroscope that just went down. Now we're putting in some solar panels. Make them a bit larger. Uh, all right, it almost filled the entire brick. That's, uh, and that, there, that should be fine. Should be fine. So we'll put another thing up here. This will be a battery. And, uh, let's see, here we go. Battery's assembled. Now we're gonna make the dish mounter thingy yeah don't know what it's called should be called dish maybe i don't know so um yeah let's uh um uh, put it together there we go let's put it together yay let's put the antenna will go inside there when i can find the part <laughs> So, let's make it look pretty. Look at that. Nice and pretty. So, this satellite's going to be going into mid-drew mid orbit-ish. So, super high up. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, let's see. It's... All right, we got the battery good. It, the mid-drew satellite, its main job will be taking uh, pictures of the uh, planet and, uh, also, and also, like, just send back some, like, info about uh, high up in the space, up in space, like, where will we? So, yeah, if only they could just add a career mode already or whatever. Just add as, please, just add an extra little thing. It's like, turns it into kind of Kerbal Space Program. Like, speaking of that, we will be doing videos on that shortly. Expect the first one to be this weekend-ish. And if it's not, then I'm sorry. So, uh, let's see. No, that's not right. Uh, <laughs> whoopsie. Let's grab that. And then make it smaller. So it actually fit on the satellite dish. Hmm. They're looking pretty good. So, uh, I'll keep the brick. Looks nice, so. Let's use it. Dang, I just said the same thing twice in a row. Wow. Yeah, I know you're all probably like, oh my god, he sucks, boo. But whatever. It is what it is. I'm getting better at this stuff. <laughs> so, let's see here. The satellite is looking pretty darn good. Uh, hmm. Let's choose a color. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's paint it up. There we go. A nice satellite looking color. So, I guess let's just have a... That look like... Look, look dark like that. Mm -hmm. Just be dark. And weird and... Gloomy, yeah, but it will be beautiful at the end. Trust me. So, yeah, I had to do a ton of cuts. Like, we're just gonna see like the starting points of different stages and stuff going into the build. So, yeah, if you didn't read the description, which I bet you do, I bet you should do like. You should. It's not that is a good description. 
It's just that it tells the truth. And yeah, if you think it is, well, and uh, by the end, if you think it's the most Kerbal rocket ever designed by me, please comment below. And if you're a rocket noob and don't know what Kerbal means, it's just nuts because it's something you'd find in Kerbal Space Program. Yes. Okay. Now, let's see. All right. Gonna be putting the little robo arms on there because I like those. One will be for the camera. The other will be for a beacon light. So that way I can tell where it is at all times. Except for when I'm down on Earth because I'm not gonna be able to see it. Yeah. They also need to update the game to make it where you can actually see your satellites that are in orbit from the ground. Like... Sure, you can track them, but you need to see the reflection off the sun. Like, that would be so cool. Please, do it. Please. Uh, oh, you son of an AC. Wow. Sorry about the background noise. The AC just kicked in. It sucks. I know. Uh, well, I guess we'll just... uh continue building the rocket now that AC's done. I mean, we are already building it, so... We are building it through there, so... Eh, whatever. Just gonna continue the build. How about that? Continue the build. That works so much better. Mmm, so much better. So, uh, let's see. There, that's... That's a big final stage. And an engine. Oh, okay, yeah. First, we gotta make the bottom look like an actual fuel tank. Just curve it in a little bit. Make it look kind of like a sphere-ish. Like a half sphere. And the reason why I'm not using the nose cone piece for this is that it's not gonna let me put an engine on it. I mean, unless I, uh, put the engine on and then the nose gun, that might work. Mmm. That, that's actually a good idea. Next rocket, I will try that. And I'll look, and you guys will see how it goes. And then, unlike normal, we are not launching this rocket in the next episode. The next episode, we will be, uh, probably taking a look at some community creations. At least one. So, yeah. And if we don't do that, I'm sorry. I failed you guys. And I feel like I've already failed you because I haven't uploaded in gosh darn forever. Gah. Please, don't hate me now. And if you do, well, whoopsie. Gotta try better next time. So, I will be getting back on a normal recording schedule i will be trying to do these voiceovers on lunches if i can and also record during lunch as well so and then if it's a longer video i can't really get fit within a lunch it will be uh on weekends so expect like um console content expect that to be posted on weekends and uh yeah so, any mobile stuff you can expect to be posted during the week. Because what I'll do is I'll start, I'll, I'll record a day early. And then I'll do the voiceover in the same day kind of thing. Not in the same day, but the day it will be uploaded. Because for some reason, iMovie goes pretty gosh darn quick with the uh, uploading compared to YouTube. It's, it's weird. So, yeah. Now you know. So, when I said this was Kerbal, look at this stage right here. For a second stage. That looks like a Saturn V uh, first stage. See, I told you it was going to be Kerbal. You see that? Mmm. And then, oh, you're going to love the first stage if you think this one's nuts. It's, mmm, you're going to love it. So, yeah, let me just put those 
back where they should be paint them up look pretty noise engines so uh let's see should be starting on the first stage soon and right now there we go uh all right let's that is the inner stage. You're going to like how I did this. So I'm putting a fairing base in here. It's, I'll put it up there. Look at this. I've got a fairing base for part of the inner stage. Then I'll just boop, boop, and then collapse it on in. And then look at that. That just looks beautiful. Like, if you haven't already thought of doing that, who are you? <laughs> So, uh, it's probably the best idea I feel like I've done to a rocket that I can't use the staging, the standard staging thing properly for. It just, mm, so beautiful. So yeah, here, this, uh, this first stage is, uh, one special one. I can guarantee you that. So, let's see here. Uh, let's say... Come on, mate. Just put the fuel adapters on and we'll be good. C come on. Hey, hey. There you go. Fuel adapters. Eh. So, whoa. Big engine. They look puny. So tiny. Those little baby engines. So let's make them bigger. Hmm. Look at that. Big engine time now, boys and girls, because I know there are some watching this. And if they aren't, please, please tell Please tell them about it. I know a couple should be, but it still says I have no female watchers with the statistics. Uh, no. Uh, come on. Please just watch it. Please. If you're ever hearing this video, look it up. Yeah. So, um, you don't mind what I just said then. That was a little rant, sorry. <laughs> Went totally off of what I should have been doing. So, let's put the inner stages on for the boosters. Yeah, boosters. There's going to be six of them. It's just going to be wild. With the six boosters. Oh. So. Yeah. Six boosters. Just gonna be wild. And it's uh. See here. I don't really like the way that looks too much. Uh, let's see. And here we go. A cut where the boosters are almost done. They don't look too big. They sure as heck pack a punch. So, yeah. The more you know. And I'm just going to leave you guys to watch the rest of this video. If you're not driving. So, see you guys later. And goodbye.